Terima kasih banyak. Thank you very much, Mr. President. If you may. Well, I'm going to take uh, the first question, and then I think Anita is going to uh, take a question from uh, social media. Oh, this is tough because we have so many outstanding young people. I'll call on this young lady right here, right in the front. Tell me, tell me your name. Uh, if you're going to school, tell me uh, uh, what uh, level you're at, uh, what year you are in school, and uh, where you're from. Um, hi, Mr. President. My name is Su Kim. I'm from Cambodia, and I went to um, Institute of Foreign Languages, the mm -hmm. Royal University of Phnom Penh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a very simple question for you. Uh -huh. um, what was your dream when you were in your 20s? And did you achieve it? And if so, how did you achieve it? Well, the, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a short question, but it's not a simple one. <laughs> you know, um, when I was uh, in high school, so for those of you who, who don't, you know, are, are studying under a different system, when I was 15, 16, 17, before I went to the university, um, I wasn't always the best student. Sometimes I, sometimes I was uh, uh, enjoying life too much. <laughs> don't clap. There you are. There. This guy's the same way. Um, no, no. The, the uh, you know, part of it, I was rebelling. It was, you know, which is natural for young people that age. Uh, I didn't know my father, and uh, so my family life was complicated. So, so I didn't always focus on my studies. Uh, and that probably carried over into the first two years of university. But, but around the age of 20, I began to realize that... Uh, that I could have an impact on the world if uh, I applied myself more. I became interested uh, in uh, social policy and government, and I decided that I wanted to work uh, in the nonprofit sector for uh, people who were disadvantaged in the United States. And so I was able to, to do that for three years after I graduated from college. That's how I moved to the city of Chicago. I was hired by a group of churches to work in poor areas to help people get jobs and help uh, improve housing and give young people more opportunity. And that was a great experience for me. And then I, it led me to go to law school and to practice uh, civil rights law and then ultimately to run for elected office. Um, and, you know, when I think back to my journey, my path, I think the most important thing for me and maybe the most important thing for all the young people here is to realize that you really can have an impact on the world. Uh, you can achieve your dreams, but uh, in order to do so, uh, you, you have to uh, focus not so much on a title, or how much money you're going to make. You have to focus more on uh, what kind of influence and impact are you going to have on other people's lives. You know, uh, what good can you do in the world? Now, it, it, that may involve starting a business, but if, if you want to start a business, you should be really excited about the, the, the product or the service that you're making. It shouldn't just be how much money I can make. Because the business people that I meet who are, do amazing things, like Bill Gates, uh, you know, who started Microsoft, or, they're usually people who are really interested in what they do, and they really think that it can make a difference in people's lives. Um, if you want to go into government, you shouldn't just want to be uh, a particular government official. You should want to go into government because you think it can help educate some children, or it can help uh, provide jobs for people who need work. Uh, so I think the most important thing for me was when I started thinking more about other people and how I could have an impact in my larger society and community and wasn't just thinking about myself. That's when I think your dreams can really take off. 
because if, if you're only thinking about you, then your world is small. If you're thinking about others, then your world gets bigger. Okay? Good. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.